the jump. It's all that comes before that really matters. I take a deep breath, I let my heart slow down, and I completely forget about everything else that goes through my life. And in that moment, it's only me and that wall. So my name is Marcy Philippe. I've been doing parkour for 12 years already. I was born and raised in Porto and I'm trying to travel around the world doing what I like to do. I think it was something that just like unconsciously grew up because I've been doing parkour for pretty much half of my life. But I started when a friend of mine showed me some videos on YouTube and that was a video that showed like 102 volts if I'm not wrong. So we thought like parkour was about like just learning all of them. That's how we started like just learning all the volts. So we didn't have no one to tell us that something was right or wrong. We had to learn by ourselves just imitating pretty much with what we saw in the videos. So yeah, we just started like just playing around and that's what parkour is all about, is having fun, like find your own style and approach things in a lot of different ways. It's something that I really want to push the limit, I want to be the best version of myself as, as I can be, so I really commit to it 100%. Parkour means is my lifestyle pretty much like that's what I live for. Not just for jumps, but also like in philosophy in general because I take parkour philosophy to everything in my life. We have the kind of philosophy from the beginning that parkour is like to be strong, to be useful. And that's the kind of philosophy that me and a lot of people that does parkour takes through life in general because if it doesn't come easy, like you need to work through it, you know, that it's not going to happen just because you want it to happen. Sometimes it's going to be hard, sometimes you're probably not going to achieve it, but you need to understand that's like, if you give up, you're not going to achieve it at all. When I started parkour, everyone was joking me like, oh, you're just jumping, you look like a macaco, you're just jumping through walls, what's the fun on that? Like, you're not going to succeed in anything, you're not going to achieve anything, and now I have a gym, now I'm like an invited athlete for a lot of different countries. I can inspire people and that's, for me, is already like a success. Nowadays it's not that bad, but it used to be like, oh, you could be a thief, you could run from police, you could jump from buildings. Oh, can you do parkour? Can you do a backflip? And it's, it's much more than that. It's not doing backflips, it's not just jumping from buildings. More than jumps, there's like relations, and that's what parkour offered me. I made friends through parkour that still my friends nowadays, and I know them for pretty much half of my life. Parkour can can be like free. That's why it's so special because there's no rule, there's no way you should really do it. You know. Like everywhere is different, like every place on earth, it's, there's a different style, there's a different concept. 
probably if it wasn't parkour, I wouldn't have that much interest of, about traveling and knowing more about the world. And that's what parkour helped me, it's like getting out of my comfort zone and discover more. It sounds quite cliche, but it's like I feel free. Like every time I go train, I go because I really want to like just not think about anything at all, like just focus on what I'm doing, just jumping and not really focus about problems. I would say that I'm quite perfectionist, so everything that I want to achieve, I really go like really deep into it, I really pursue it as much as I can. Even if I didn't got like on that day, I probably would go back as soon as I can and try it again and again and again till I can't anymore. So basically I'm trying to do a double con because I did it last year and I kind of injured myself so I'm quite afraid so I need to unlock it and break the mental barrier again on this one. I'm gonna try it step by step like trying to get comfortable in some way and prep it in other double con over there to see how it goes. So this double con is like one foot and a half smaller which makes a little bit of difference obviously but as I said before like it's good for for getting comfortable with the movement by itself. Totally fine on this one. But since it's like one foot and a half it doesn't look that much okay. but for us makes a I yeah, just want to try one more, like just to see. I think it's a good prep, like it missed any of them, so if I didn't miss like seven of them, I'm not going to miss there. It's going to be fine, I think. I need to be positive on these cases. So it's so hard to unlock the first one, like... That is always like that mental barrier that you know that you can do it. But like... Actually going for it makes a whole difference. Best feeling. It's such, a, it's such like a good feeling. It's like the best feeling in parkour is like when you overcome mental barriers. I feel like everything like comes to one moment, you know, like all the years of experience comes to one moment and you like do it exactly how you expect it to. Adrenaline pumping up. Every mental jump I'm preparing to do, I need to be focused on that and only that. There's no fear, no worries and no hesitation. Once I commit to it, I'll do it. It's indescribable. Parkour means everything to me, and I can't really imagine my life without it. It got me my closest friends, made me travel around the world, taught me how to be self-confident, and most of all, it taught me how to be happy by just doing what I love. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. I want to inspire people, I want to push myself to the fullest and contribute for the growth of this sport. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this episode. If you like my content, please consider sharing with your family and friends and click on the notification bell so you're notified every time a new episode comes out. And if you'd like to support this project, you can do it on Patreon, where you can get access to new exclusive videos every month. So once again, thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.